Hey guys, how's it going? It is Travis Mortz with the Forest Hill Film Lab and today I'm going to be showing you guys um, a big huge lot of film and photo stuff that I was just given to for free. Um, it's uh, Sometimes these things happen to me and uh, I embrace them with open arms and uh, so the other day I got contacted by somebody on Instagram saying they had a bunch of photo stuff and that if I wanted it before it went to the dumpster to come get it. So uh, let's I, let's get into it. I got a couple boxes of things to show you guys and uh, some stories to tell and you guys could check it out. All right, so I wanted to put all this stuff out on the table before the video started, but I felt like maybe it would kind of take away from the mass of it. So I'm gonna just take this time to unload all of this stuff and uh, we'll see what we've got. So, uh, as you can see, um, I was given a little bit of film uh, yesterday. So, uh, I'm going to tell you guys where all this came from, and I'll also um, show you guys what some of this is, because there's actually a lot of really unique film in here that's no longer made, um, and that's what's really got me excited about this big old lot. So, uh, I'm going to switch over my developer real quick and see if maybe I can organize this up a little bit, and we'll get back to you in a second. Alrighty, I tried to clear out some of the space around my face so I could still talk to you guys. Um, so basically this is a lot of film. There's a lot of film here. There's a ton of 4x5 film. Of course all these boxes aren't full. Um, there's clearly a ton of 35mm and 120 as well. Um, and then on top of that there's also a big old stack of 8x10 film. Uh, so basically the story behind all this stuff is um, in Reno Nevada, there's a casino called Harrah's. It's a very familiar casino to anybody who's ever been to Reno. Um, and Harrah's is obviously owned by someone. So it's owned by, I think, John Hera. Uh, well, his son was really into photography in like the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. He was very, very into photography. Um, and as a result of that, when you're interested in photography and you are a multimillionaire, you buy a lot of shit. And so this guy had his own photo lab uh, that did his processing. He had like 8x10 enlargers, uh, all kinds of, so many enlargers. Uh, he had like a big old print processing machine, all this stuff. Uh, anyways, a friend of mine, a mutual friend, an acquaintance, uh, messaged me on Instagram. And apparently he works for this guy, this, this dude who owns all this stuff. 
and uh, there was like some photography studio at their mansion, the Hera Ranch, and they moved it out of the ranch because he's no longer interested in it like he used to be, and it's made its way into this warehouse in Reno, and they're cleaning up the warehouse, so it's got to go. So uh, along with, you know, studio lights and crazy soft boxes like that would be too big to even fit in here, all kinds of like really, really high end expensive crazy stuff, pro photo lights just smashed on the ground, all kinds of horrible things. Um, there was this boxes and boxes of film that they literally had no use for. The guy's like, we're throwing this stuff away because nobody wants it. We're not going to sell it, you know, whatever. So. I uh, got this Instagram message and I drove up there the next day and here we have it. This is a big ass pile of film and, uh, and I got it all for free. And the best part is, is when I went there, there was also like a ton of other film photography stuff. So I got, this is like, I'm probably more excited about this than the film. I got this, there was a Jobo tank in there, which again, you know, no one cared about this stuff, but I could specifically use it. So I got this Jobo tank that could do, oh my goodness, 12 sheets of 4x5 at one time. I got this special loader for the 4x5 reel that's just absolutely amazing. Um, so yeah, it's like almost like this was a calling for me. I've been shooting 4x5 lately, this is going to make it twice as easy. Um, also all this film. so. Let's talk about this film. Uh, you guys probably want to know a little bit about some of it, I'd imagine. So let's start off here. Here we have 3000 ISO Polaroid film, which I have tested and it does work. I gotta watch some time over there. So there's a couple boxes of that. I probably have about 20 sheets in total. Um, someone's calling me. Uh, and then here we have 8x10 film. Now the bummer about the 8x10 film is that I don't have an 8x10 camera so I can't really do much with it. And this isn't even all of it. There's like four more unopened boxes of T-Max that I actually put up for sale. Um, but here's an unopened box of T-Max 100. Um, I'm actually going to get this 8x10 film out of here because it's taking up the most room. So some more T-Max. And, and that's the funny thing though, is that the 8x10 film is the most rare and the most valuable, but it's the most useless to me. Uh, we got Ektachrome 100 Plus, that's a big box of film, that's a several hundred dollar box of film. 8x10 slide film is just insane. Here's some more boxes of T-Max. Some FP4, you don't see that very often, that's a heavy box, that thing's full. Um, Velvia slide film. Those are like $10 a sheet. Um, and then some Kodalith, Kodak film. And I know you guys are gonna probably wanna see some of this stuff in color, so maybe uh, once I switch over this fixer, I, I'll show you guys what the colors of all this stuff is. It's just a bunch of yellow, um, as you would have expected, but um, it's, a, it's a beautiful sea of colors. So I'm actually gonna switch that over in a second, and then I'll be right back. All right, so now you guys can see all the color boxes that we have. Um, I don't even really know where to begin. So here, here we've got some 4x5 film. There's some really cool stuff in here. Um, this is high-speed infrared film. Um, I've never shot that. This is a film that's no longer made. I, I think that this whole pile is pretty much almost all film that's no longer made. But So we've got some high-speed infrared film. We've got some Vericolor 3, I have shot that before. Some Vericolor HC, high contrast. Let's see what this pile is. We've got some Kodak Ektachrome 64 Tungsten. Pro 100, high speed film. Um, so I guess the guy that, that owned all this stuff, he was into high speed flash photography. Um, and at the time he was focused on photographing bullets in motion and explosions. So he, his cameras were sound operated. Uh, I found some Polaroids of like firecrackers blowing up. And uh, the guys who gave me the film said that he was uh, you know, one of the first guys to shoot a moving bullet, which I thought was pretty cool. 
Uh, there's a unopened box of T Max 100, 100 sheets in that bad boy. So that is like one of the best boxes of this whole pile that I'm really excited about. That's just gonna live in the fridge. Here's a nearly full box of T Max 400. Um, you know, a lot of these, all of this film is expired, but the beauty of expired film is it still works. And especially black and white. You're not going to get any color shifts with black and white film. Uh, so that's what I love about expired film. I'd say probably 60% of the film I shoot it has an expired date on it. But I don't care. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, this is a nearly full box of Super XX Pan. This was a 200 ISO black and white film. Once again, it's probably going to work out fine. I've shot black and white sheets that were 47 years old that looked like brand new. Shot them at box speed. So this was a uh, 93. It's going to be fine. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, don't want that box opening. We got some very color inner negative film. And this says normal filter pack. And I honestly don't really know what that means. Um, you know, some of this film is so specialty that I've never even had the chance to shoot it. Ectochrome 100. That's slide film, some more Vericolor HC, pretty interesting. Ektachrome, Ektachrome 100S. This is uh, two sheets of E6. Some of these boxes, you know, don't even feel like they have film in them, but I'm not going to go through every single box and open it in a dark bag. Um, Fujichrome 64 Tungsten. Uh, Kodak Ortho film. I think that's like really low speed black and white. Ektachrome. This is CDU duplicating film. Um, this is like super slow ISO. I actually have a hundred foot roll of it. Um, pretty interesting stuff. Let's see. We've got some something with notes on it. Varicolor 400. Some more of that high speed infrared. The guy had his preferences. You know, he liked Ektachrome. Ektachrome 64T. He liked his T-Max, Vericolor 3, awesome film, some more of that inner negative. Uh, but he didn't really branch out too much. We got our T-Max 400 and some more T-Max 400. I mean, that's so much 4x5 film. Uh, I've been waiting all week for a box to come with a 50 box of Arista 100. And uh, for anyone interested, I've been shooting Arista and it's beautiful, awesome film. I'm um, pretty sure it's made by FOMA, made in the Czech Republic, so I'm loving it. Um, but nonetheless, I was so excited for this package to come, and then this stuff arrives, and now I am not excited because I don't even have room in my fridge. Uh, oh, look it, here we go. We've got some XP1 400. This is a black and white C41 film. Not sure why anybody would shoot that in 4x5. And then some more ortho film. That's a heavy box, too. Uh, we got. A hundred foot roll of Kodak Vericolor 3 expired in 1985. This is probably just going to be a shelf piece. Uh, and now moving on to the fun stuff, the 35 millimeter, the 120 film. This is where the real variety is at. This is where like all the crazy films are that nobody's ever seen before. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys about some of the cool ones. Uh, we got some Pro 400. This is old stuff. This is like comparable to Portra. Um, and I got two pro packs of 400. And these expired in 98. I think they're going to be fine. Probably expose them at 200 ISO just because. Um, so here's some very color 3. You notice some nice nifty gold packaging. Some old Ilford HP5. T Max. PMZ 1000. That's a film we no longer have. Only one roll of Portrait 160 VC in this whole lot. That was kind of a bummer. Couple rolls of Pan F. I got these partial bricks of T Max 100. This stuff expired in 02, and I've recently shot some film from 02 T Max, and it turns out beautifully. So I'm really excited about that. I think these are all boxes from those packs that have just kind of made their way out. Um, you know, and there was actually a lot of 120 film. Like that's there's not a whole lot of 35, but the 120 is where all the varieties at. Pro 400, Pro 100, Pro 1000, um, some T-Max, just really cool stuff in here. So this is kind of like the different film that I received 
all different ages. Some of it's rubbed off, 97. I mean, so, so much ridiculous stuff in here. And there's really a lot of uh, slide film, too. Ektachrome 400X. Here's some uh, Ektar 25. That's obviously a film no longer made. There's a 35 millimeter roll of it. These are excellent. I mean, this is just an excellent um, look into the past to kind of see what we no longer have anymore. This is, um, these are the things that we've lost over time, and it's really sad. Here's Royal X Pan. I don't know where it went, though. It fell out of its box probably when I was jostling them around. I'm gonna, oh, it's black and white negative film. I don't know. Uh, so there's all that stuff. Oh, shit. And on top of that, I got the developing tank with the 4x5 reels. Um, this is another doozy. So last week, I borrowed 10 film holders from my buddy Steve, 4x5 film holders because I needed them. I only have 19 and I needed 10 more. So uh, I asked him nicely, he brought them. And then yesterday, um, these are in six ba bags. Yesterday, uh, in this lot from this rich guy, I got 60 film holders. I've already loaded up 20 of them. I gave six of them to my buddy Steve. But yeah, so um, needless to say, I no longer needed to borrow his film holders. I'm good now. I've got more than I could ever dream of. And these are really, really nice ones. If you notice, they have locking dark slides. Look at, I can't pull them out. And there's a little release button right here. If I press that button, the slide will come out. You can see it's notched right here. And that's not something I've ever seen before. So not only did I get some new film holders, I got like 45 of these damn things, but they're like the nicest ones I've ever seen. Check this out. On the bottom here, they have these little numbers that you could spin. So you could actually number your four by five frames ahead of time so you could keep track of what's what. And that, uh, that's brilliant. And when this goes into the camera, that button is automatically depressed, so the slides come out easily. So excited. So I've got like a, a couple bags of these things, and obviously I'm really, really pumped about that. Another thing I got that was really exciting was a big old box of film hanging clips. So cool. Um, I got 10 new reels, uh, 35 millimeter, 120 reels for my developing tanks. Um, Jobo reels, they're like $25 a piece. I've been buying them one at a time, trying to accumulate eight of them. I had seven, and then um, I, in this box I got 10. So that was really exciting. Um, the thing I'm not showing you guys, actually, is the boxes upon boxes of photographic paper that I've received. Uh, I'm not showing it to you because it's still in my driveway. It's too heavy for me to lift. <laughs> Um, but I got a huge, like, U-Haul size box of 20 by 24. And then I have another U-Haul size box of 16 by 20. And then I have another U-Haul size box of 8 by 10, 5 by 7, all those different sizes. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, it's crazy. I'm, I'm really happy that I got all this awesome stuff for free. But now I'm kind of in a predicament because uh, I don't have any place to put it. My film fridge is out of space. I haven't even started putting the 4x5 in there yet. So uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with all this. Uh, people have been asking if I'm going to sell it. Probably not, but maybe. So uh, anyways, I wanted to share this with you guys because it was a really, really cool thing that happened to me. And I know how much you guys like film stuff. And this is a lot of film stuff. So I thought I would share it with you guys. Um, aside from that, I want to thank you guys for all the support you've been giving the Forest Hill Film Lab. Uh, it's much appreciated. It's not going unnoticed. Um, thank you guys so much for sending me your film. It's really, really awesome. I'm enjoying seeing all of your guys' photos from all over the world. And uh, maybe maybe if you guys start sending in film, I'll, I'll send back some of these expired rolls. I think that'd be a cool thing to do. Some of these rolls are really weird and specialty, but uh, maybe I'll start tossing them in these packages uh, every now and again. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I've got a big mess to clean up, so I'm going to get going. 
But until next time, you guys, keep on shooting.